that was one of my favorite parts ever, like of that interview where they were like, uh, did you go, you know, Muslims are being attacked or, or whatever. He goes, you know what I say to that? I say, that's bad. Stop it. Yes. <laughs> and he like wagged his finger. Stop it. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, fucking amazing. Like, you just, yeah, you just imagine someone with like his arm like, cocked back with the flame of Maldive cocktail, not cocktail. And he just hears that. And he's like, Oh shit. Well, <laughs> guess we party's over guys, you know, douse all your uh, wicks and, you know, throw all your, Sack full of doorknobs into the back of the pickup. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> oh, man. But I will take an interest. I do know that. Like, I- I've never gone out of my way to watch the State of the Union, really. Like, I've caught a couple of them, you know, when I knew it was, gonna, when I knew it was going down. I thought, okay, I'll turn this on for a minute. Listen, these, I'm, these I'll, I'll fucking plan my life around shit. Right? Like, the inauguration, I'm going to be watching that because I'm just, for the audience, not for Trump. I just want to see the people doing their thing, their disappointing thing. I want to see that. I don't know why. I, I guess it's uh, no different than watching shit on YouTube. I, I'm but taking it, bets on how many Girl Scouts will get killed in the resulting riots. <laughs> did, did you see this? Like They're angry at the Girl Scouts because the Girl Scouts are going to participate in the inauguration parade. They're angry at the – no, yeah. Yeah. Well, they're angry. Anyone that's not like burning a Trump effigy <laughs> in the street, or <laughs> just not like you know, uh, threatening to rape his daughter or something. Like, if you're yeah. not doing that, then you're the enemy, pretty much. Like, if you're even doing what I'm doing, and go, look how ridiculous people are. Hey, f- hey, what's that? You didn't say fuck Trump or fuck you. Yeah. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I'm always Billy Bob Thornton in bed, Santa? It's like you think you can make shit worse for me? Knock yourself out, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> your, your whining bullshit doesn't bother me a bit. I will sleep like a fucking baby <laughs> every goddamn night. Oh shit! All right, anyway, so, uh, Arn so. Ross sucked off this guy's uh, sucked <laughs> off this guy. Now he has uh, feline ears. Oh shit! How the fuck? Okay, I'll just accept that. That's but you got cool. a water bottle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, as long as I'm willing to just, like, blow a bunch of strangers, this survival thing is going to be – this is going to be easy. Because <laughs> this character, I gotta, he's going to have, like, no self-respect whatsoever. <clears throat> okay, let's see. So now I got a water bottle. Let's uh, let's continue north. Let's do that. Right. Fuck it. Uh, okay, nothing happened. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's explore. Let's see what I run into here. Explore. You run into a peacock. A tall blue okay. bird emerges from an alley. He has pretty blue and green plumage. He greets you by Fanny's tail. Hmm. Uh, okay. Looks like uh, in this okay, battle. Okay. This looks like this is a, a, a stun lock debuff kind of enemy. One of those. Uh, it uses the the peacock tail to hypnotize people or whatever. All right. Okay. Let's see. So let's see what this You better end this like. battle quickly. Eh, okay. Maybe I could. Um, let's attack it. Okay. Bam. Seven damage. Uh, he trips you, huh? Okay. You can take no damage. Maybe it's like a delay thing. Let's attack again. Is he mocking you? Okay. Oh, so yeah, it's another good hit. Looks like you might get this guy. Yeah, yeah. All right, one more time. That'll work. I think I got it. You miss. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, you stand up, and uh, he beckons you to follow him. Oh, okay, so, you, yeah, you had an auto loss. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, that's some horse shit, dude. Yeah. He motions towards the bed in the middle. You think this won't be so bad after all? Okay. <laughs> you don't know how this much pleasant... Like- uh, I was, am I getting hypnotized to fuck a bird right now? Is that what's yeah, happening? Yeah, that's what's happening. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's pretty bad. Oh, and you also have a peacock tail now. Okay, well, that's cool. Maybe I can do the same shit to other people. I just, like, fucking spread the feathers and hypnotize them and kick their ass. Yeah, I don't I know. Doubt. That'd be nice. Your score's gone down by one point. Yeah, that's not the end of the day. Not the mm-hmm. end of the world. Okay, so, uh, mm-hmm. what now? <clears throat> Um, let's see here. Let's scavenge a bit. <clears throat> let's see. Oh, it's another uh, another 
uh, blowjobs for water event. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Every Dude, time. All, all, yeah, that's an auto yes for Iron Raw. That's an auto yes. I'm <laughs> sucking. <laughs> I'm going to suck my way to prosperity, prosperity as Aaron Rowe. Your skin Rowe. tingles. As, now, see, if this was Dark Souls, be like, oh, you're making the game too easy by sucking too much car. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you fucking noob. Jeez. Well, what a, yeah, fair, using the Drake realistic. sword and sucking cock everywhere you go. <laughs> well, it's very realistic. If you're willing to suck everybody's dick, you're going to have a pretty easy life. <laughs> yeah, your Black Knight halberd and your ball robes. <laughs> Uh, shit. I think that's fair, dude. If you're willing to take like eight loads in the mouth a day, you should have a pretty easy time getting something to eat. You know, like I mean, it really shouldn't be too complicated for you to get lunch. <laughs> uh, fuck. Like you know, above and beyond sucking so many dicks, uh, okay, <laughs> feeling yeah. so dirty for what you've done. That's a goddamn lie right there. <laughs> <laughs> I feel nothing. <laughs> And you have a spontaneous orgasm, and also you uh, have a gray fur, so you're mutating a little bit more every time you do that. Yeah, man. So like, I'm gonna run out of shit to grow eventually. Yeah. All right. Sure. So let's uh, let's look at your inventory. You got. Uh, yeah, I was saying it's uh, time to get a little something to eat, a little something to drink. All right. What do you uh, want? Let's see. I mean, you got some two clean water bottles. You want to just drink? Uh, yeah, just uh, just drink one water bottle. You actually and, have uh, a lot of food. Yeah, okay, so we'll drink yeah. drink a water bottle, and then uh, use some food. Yep. Just kind of warning. Yeah. Yeah. yeah as yeah. long as you're willing to whore yourself out, I mean the the core. <laughs> yeah, I mean that that makes sense to me. It only makes sense that if you're willing to do that, <laughs> food shouldn't be a problem. See, I lack self-respect as Aaron Raw, so I'm untouchable. <laughs> <laughs> if you have zero self-respect, you can't be fucked with. <laughs> oh, shit. I'll run away from a golden retriever, but I will not run away from a dick. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. All right. Let's, uh, let's head north again. <clears throat> see what I can... Oh, uh, rabbit, rabbit pack. pack. Nice. Creature gets the drop on me and take four damage. Okay. Okay, so there's about ten rabbit-like creatures, and they attack you. All right. Oh shit! See. They have a combined HP of eighty, but they're you know they're one of those single mob type. All right, right. <clears throat> Fuck it. Let's try to attack them. See what I can do. <laughs> okay. Uh, nine damage, and they miss. Hey, that was pretty good. But uh, okay. I don't know if you'll be able to keep it up. Yeah, let's let's try until something stupid happens. Then I'll just try to outrun them if I can. Uh, uh, miss, take four damage. Seven damage, and they miss. Man, that's pretty good. Okay, uh, yeah. okay they three damage. You're still in the fight. Yeah, they're and just... They, uh, they don't hit very hard. No, they don't. Uh, that was a mutual miss. So, okay, seven well, You're actually more. doing really well. Yeah, this isn't like, going so bad. Fucking A, and just keep at it until... Seven, okay, so yeah. Ooh, okay, it's getting a little dire here. Uh, they, they, I, mean, they, I don't think they've done more than three damage, three or four damage to you, yeah. Alright, yeah, yeah, keep going uh, for now. Okay, so... Uh, Eleven. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Uh, and you're both missing. Uh, four, okay, now now you're, now you're uh, in trouble. Shit, yeah, let's, let's flee. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, you got away. Right. Okay, cool. I want to try to submit at some point and see what happens with that. It's too. just it's an auto loss. That's all. Oh, okay. So fleeing. I, I don't know if it uh, okay. changes the way it's written. Probably a little in some cases. Yeah, my fleeing's probably better anyway for your score, your overall score. I would imagine. Um, I don't know, but that's my guess. Yeah, you, okay. If you yeah, if you lose, you uh, lose some points. You have sixty six points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's rest up a bit. Okay. Uh, rest. Yeah. You feel a little hungry. You're energetic. Uh, also, uh, your uh, let's see, the journal helps you keep your uh, sanity up. So uh, mm -hmm. right now it's 83 out of 100. Just let me know anytime you want to use a journal. 
Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and use it now that we mentioned it for the fact of it. And because uh, I forgot all about it. back up to uh, 95. So, yeah, it's uh, it's like a, a Lovecraftian themed RPG where you got to keep your sanity up. <laughs> Aaron Ross Journal, Dear, dear Diary. <laughs> Sucked a lot of dick again today. <laughs> but on the bright side, got a lot of water. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. every entry. <laughs> Minus the part where he runs into a different animal. It was yeah. Peacock today. He got raped by a Peacock. Uh, was defeated by a pack of rabbits and sucked a bunch of dicks. It was a good day all in all. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I'm sporting the uh, the garbage can lid as, uh, as my shield, I guess. Let's see. What am I using? A pocket knife. Okay. All right. Anyway, let's um, let's uh, head north. Okay. Uh, retriever. Another retriever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Interesting. Now I just fled like initially, right? Last yeah. time, did I try to attack? Try to attack it. Let's okay. just see where it goes. You miss. She misses. Uh, oh, seven damage, and you missed, so, uh, it's, uh... Yeah, bye. Huh? <laughs> bye, let's okay. get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Still in the fight. Flee. Okay, yeah, you got away. Cool. All right. How's my HP? How much damage did he get? Uh, you have 28 out of 35 left. Uh, uh-huh. you, you gain a little bit back after the fight. Oh, okay, that's cool. Good shit. Okay, let's, uh, scavenge a bit. You know, good. I actually, uh, I'm working on a, a, an RPG uh, in addition to the other game, uh, Salt Mountain, and uh, I I liked the flexible survival encounter and, and combat system, so I based a lot of the balance and, and things off of this, and the people mm. who playtested it absolutely hated it. Really? Because they didn't win often enough. Yeah. And I thought, you know what? Fuck you guys. Like, it's modern gaming has taught people that, you know, you just press one button and you automatically win. And it's the same with those other RPGs. Like, you remember I used to make these little dinky RPGs? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like, oh, I didn't win every time. Make a game where you don't lose. I'm like, oh, right. God, you, you people are just right. awful. Well, it's like you were saying to me the other day, like, they don't even know what they want. Because yeah. if you make a game that's that fucking easy, it's so true. If you make a game that that's, that's that fucking easy, they're going to be bored to tears in no time. Well, they want a game that is so easy that they can take to the forums and laugh at how easy it is. But then if you put any actual difficulty, they, they, they oh, it's cheap. It's, you know, the, the, it's cheap. It's just bad design. It's just bad design. Let's get bored to tears with that kind of shit. Yeah. You know? It's just no point like, in I, it. I, and, and the thing is, uh, like, I like... A, a, a game a game is ideal when every single encounter could go either way. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel yeah. about it. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, that's what I mean. The thing is, like, I, I know I, uh, that's the thing. That's the thing that's always been great about the Souls games is you like if you run that game often enough, you'll get killed by everything. You'll get killed by every little rat or every little you know dinky soldier sooner or later. You'll have a you'll just be not paying attention or get fucked you know by some RNG and not be you know usually there's something you could have done about it. The game doesn't uh, it's I don't know, it, it doesn't rob you that often, but you know you can get really mm-hmm. heavily punished by something that you've beaten a hundred times and then on the hundred first time it just kills you out of out of the blue. Right. Uh, but then on the other hand, you can pull off some amazing things by having a character at level one. Uh, beat you know the toughest bosses uh, so that's that's what i think is good is is a game where you could any encounter could go either way so you have to pay attention you have to make some you know like it, but then like of course in an rpg setting a pure rpg you know turn-based uh you know chance based you have to basically you're you're basically wagering at that point you know what i mean right. it becomes it yeah. becomes like a high stake like virtual roulette or virtual poker right it's like yeah. shit do i use a potion or not Right. right. And a right. game that doesn't put you in that position is just bad. Yeah, I think so. You know, the suspense of it is nice. You know, the yeah. edge of your seat kind of exactly. thing is, yeah. It, it's not a Twitch based, <laughs> reaction based sort of system, but uh, it's like, you know, do I consume an additional resource to get through this? Do I run away? Do I stay? You know, the idea that, you know, you're, you're making difficult decisions. But what I found overwhelmingly from the playtesters is I just want to push one button and win. Right, right. So I, I just stopped putting it up on the forum. <clears throat> I just stopped putting it up. It's like, you know what? I'll make it however you like, and you guys can pitch all you like when it's done. I've been uh, I've been playing Final Fantasy 15 a little bit lately, and it, I, just, I don't like it. 
I just, yeah. I just do not like that game at oh all. Oh my and goodness! I, I got I into a, uh, an argument with this guy because uh, uh, arguing about video. I mean, if you're going to argue about the internet, you might as well argue about taste in video games. Right. <laughs> but uh, I, I said, yeah, you know, uh, I'm not. You know, I don't really you know, think very highly of it. You know, from and. Uh, uh, he started saying, oh, yeah, well, you know, that's what people say. It's like, oh, well, the fi Final Fantasy games are supposed to be a certain thing, and if you do something different, then they'll complain. I'm like, look, you're really not paying attention. I, it's not that it's different. It's that it's different in a way that makes it much worse. <laughs> like, yeah, in, in several ways. And There's it's, several and, things and, and to be thinking. fair, to be fair, mm -hmm. if it was a – okay, when people ask me, it's like, if you were to ask me, okay, what, what do you think of Final Fantasy XV in like a single sentence, I would say that Final Fantasy XV is the best Kingdom Hearts game ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you play the same character as the same class with the same party – everywhere you go with occasionally you know you know like a guest character right so it's basic and right. and, and then the combat is is like real time very very basic you know i mean there, there is a perk tree but it's not like you're really going to respec into anything different than like right. a very very shallow devil may cry kind of wannabe thing so it's mm -hmm. it's just it's awful. It's all, I mean this is the same franchise. That, and that's the thing is is if you didn't have Final Fantasy in the title, my expectations would be different. And this guy's saying, uh, this guy's saying, oh well, people just complain because it's different and for no other reason. And I thought, look, you like Souls <laughs> games, right? Because this guy he streams a lot of Souls stuff. Or you like Bloodborne? Okay, imagine if they made you know another Dark Souls or another Bloodborne, and this time they had stealth segments that were mandatory. And quick right. time events for some of the. <laughs> yeah. Would you yeah. think? Would you think people were just belly aching because change equals bad? Right. Right. I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, I mean, well, the entire thing for me is like a, a lot of the Final Fantasy games that I enjoyed. I, you know, I enjoy the characters, um, but these characters are they're, they're like they're, just, they're not even fucking believable characters in yeah, any and, way. And the, shape yeah, or form. that's the thing is like this one more than any. Okay, it, it's like. They managed to create some of the least. I mean, I don't know. It's not. I, I, like, I, I don't, hesitate to say I don't least likable. Least like I get the feeling, like okay, if I'm in this world, I wouldn't dislike them. But they're just. I just didn't. I, I, I didn't care about them. You know, they they just they weren't very they weren't very <laughs> memorable. And, and the thing is, but they they made a game that the theme of it more rested on the shoulders of character development than in any previous game. Mm -hmm. Right, and you know, in previous games, it's like you're riding it around in an airship, kicking people's asses, and on the way, you get a feel for these the personalities of different characters. Right, in this, right. it's like the whole point is it's supposed to be the group dynamic and the character development, and it just they 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 fell short. Well, like the main guy, like the, the character Noctis, is the most passionless, fucking like just lackluster character. I'm just like for the situation that he's in. Like I mean, his dad just got murdered. Yeah. In, a fucking, in a in a war to overthrow his his fucking uh, you know the, his kingdom and like he's the last remaining heir to the throne and the fucking imperials are hunting him down. All this is happening. He's like, huh, yeah, fucking ride a chocobo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go fishing. <laughs> want to get yeah, want to go fishing? Get something to eat. Fuck. Ah. This is an annoying cunt with a fucking camera following you everywhere. And there's like this one scene. It's just really bizarre. I don't even know how I accessed it but it was like it was one of these times you go to a camp and that character uh whose name i can't remember um he just sits there talking he's like why don't you like me am i useful and you're like what is this what am i doing right now <laughs> like do i really like i don't even know my character and i've got this like needy photography guy fucking asking me if he's cool yeah like so i just know that if you you know answer in the affirmative you get more xp for it so I just go, yeah, sure, you're fine, dude. You're, uh, you're, you're a fucking in, irreplaceable member of this fucking team. Dude, trust me, you're great. So it's like you got 500 XP. <laughs> like, great, yeah. that's what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't care at all. Like, why are we having this conversation? It's just so fucking bizarre, dude. Oh, there's so much wrong with the game. Like, yeah. I, I could give a shit less about this main character at all. Like, I, I haven't even finished the game yet, and I was really excited to play it. Now the demo pissed me off. I don't know if anybody, if you played the demo, but for those who did, the demo, like, I was literally angry when I got done playing the demo because it was so fucking dumb. <laughs> like, for some reason, you're a shrunk-down Noctis as a child, like, yeah. and you're 
you're shrunk into like you're running around your bedroom and leaping over toys and shit and you're driving a little toy car and at some point you fight uh, an iron giant at the end um which they you know give you no explanation of battle or anything so they just kind of go go right and it sucked